Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Math Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to divide two numbers with and without regrouping. But first, let's have a drill. Division 15 divided by 3 5 20 divided by 5 4 14 divided by 2 7 24 divided by 4 6 Now, let's divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 digit number without regrouping. Dividing without regrouping involves simple division where each digit of the dividend is large enough to be divided by the divisor without requiring borrowing or carrying. Let's learn the division sentence. The largest number in a division sentence or the number placed before the division sign is what you called the dividend. The number placed after the division sign is divisor. And the answer is what you call the quotient. We can place the numbers like this. Now, let's divide the numbers. 84 divided by 4. Let's rearrange these numbers in this new format. We will place inside the division bar our dividend. And our divisor will be placed outside the division sign. In dividing numbers, we should remember the following steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide, determine how many times the divisor can fit into the first digit or group of digits of the dividend. After you divide, multiply. Multiply the divisor by this quotient digit. After you multiply, you will subtract. Subtract the result from the current digits of the dividend. And then, bring down. Bring down the next digit of the dividend and repeat the process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Again, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Now, let's use the following steps. Divide. Our divisor is 4. Let's keep counting by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. This will use as our guide. Since our divisor is only one digit number, we will divide a one digit number by the divisor. 8. So 8 divided by 4 is, or how many 4s are there in 8? 2. After we put the quotient above, we will multiply. We will multiply the quotient to the divisor. 2 times 4 is 8. After we multiply, subtract. 8 minus 8, 0. And then, we will bring down the remaining digit from our dividend, 4. And repeat the process. Divide. 4 divided by 4. How many 4s are there in 4? 1. 1 is our quotient. So 1 times 4 is 4. 4 minus 4, 0. Since there is no number to divide and the last digit is 0, our final quotient is 21. So 84 divided by 4 is 21. Another example. 432 divided by 3. Divide. 1 is 1. Our divisor is 3. Let's do the skip counting by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now, let's divide by 1 to 1 digit. 4 divided by 3 is only 1. There is 1 3 in 4. After we divide, we will multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. After we multiply, we will subtract. 
4 minus 3 is 1. We will need to bring down 3. So our dividend is now 13. So 13 divided by 3 is 4. Since there are 4 3's in 13. 4 times 3 is 12. And then 13 minus 12 is 1. So we need to bring down 2 to make it 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12, 0. So there is 0. We need to stop the division. Our final quotient is 144. Let's try. Give the quotient. The quotient is 150. Another one. Our quotient is 2,431. Let's do the part 2. Divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 digit number with regrouping. In this type of division, the numbers in the dividend don't divide evenly in the divisor at some stages, requiring borrowing or regrouping or carrying over to complete the division correctly. This often occurs when the dividend has a remainder during a step and you need to bring down the next digit. For example, 125 divided by 3. Since 1 is lesser than 3, we will use 12 as our dividend. 12 divided by 3 is 4. There are 4 in 12s. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12, 0. Bring down 5. 5 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3, 3. 5 minus 3, 2. Since there is no number to bring down, that means this 2 is our remainder. So our quotient is 41 remainder 2. Let's try! Our quotient is 1,354 remainder 1. Part 3. Divide 2 to 3 digit numbers by 2 digit number without regrouping. So 84 divided by 12. 2 number by 2 numbers. So we have this keep counting by 12s. So 84 divided by 12 is 7. 7 times 12 is 84. 84 minus 84 is 0. So our quotient is 7. Let's try. 120 divided by 10. The quotient is 12. Part 4. Divide 2 to 3 digit numbers by 2 digit number with regrouping. 135 divided by 12. 13 divided by 12. 1. 1 times 12 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down 5. 15. 15 divided by 12 is 1. 1 times 12 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3. Since there is no number to bring down, that means 3 is our remainder. So the quotient is 11 remainder 3. Let's try! The quotient is 12 remainder 4. Activity time! Activity number 1. Divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 digit number without regrouping.
Here are the answers. Activity number 2. Divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by a 1 digit number with regrouping. Here are the answers. Activity number 3. Divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by a 2 digit number without regrouping. Here are the answers. Activity number 4. Divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by a 2 digit number with regrouping. Here are the answers. Always remember, when dividing without regrouping, the divisor fits evenly into the digits of the dividend, producing a straightforward quotient with no remainders or carrying over. In contrast, when dividing with regrouping, remainders occur, requiring you to carry the remainder over the next digit before continuing the division. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!